What's up YouTube? This is MadCock83. Today we're going to be looking at how to install Buildcraft 3.13, I believe, for uh, Minecraft 1.1. I got again a few messages about uh, needing to get back to my installs. Uh, I've been concentrating on my Let's Play a little too much, so let's uh, let's do a quick install. Um, get your .minecraft folder. Um, you can do this by searching percent app data or create a little shortcut to it on your desktop like I have done. Uh, this is completely stock Minecraft. I actually erased everything in here and re-downloaded it. Um, what you're going to do is open up your minecraft.jar and go ahead and delete the meta-inf as always. Let it go do its thing. And here are some of the mods we're always, you're almost always going to need. You're going to want to put it in uh, Mod Loader for version 1.1. Drag and drop all of those. Close out to Mod Loader. Open up Mod Loader MP. Drag and drop into there. And we're going to put in Minecraft Forge version 1.3.1. That's the newest one that I'm aware of as of today. And we'll drop that bad boy in there. And uh, what we're going to want to do is start up Minecraft. For those of you who don't know, this is a, this is a program to allocate, allocate more memory to Minecraft. I guess I need to remember my password. We're going to log in. And once we're here, we've created the necessary files we're going to need for... We can close out your uh, Minecraft jar, we're not going to need it anymore. If we go back to Minecraft, now we have a config folder and a mods folder. Inside the mods folder, we're going to get our stuff for Buildcraft, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six different AdFly downloads, so it's going to take you a minute to get to it, but this is the newest version. You can simply grab these wherever you've downloaded them from and drag them in. I'm just going to copy them so I can keep them for later in case I want something else. We're going to paste them in there. And uh, that's it. That's all you need. I'm going to add one more thing, which I forgot to do before. Uh, I'm going to add this code. This is for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, NEI. You put that in your mods folder and where did I put the other one? This is simply f you don't need this. This is not required to play build to use Buildcraft or play with Buildcraft. It's just so I can. It's just a way to check and see if you got it installed correctly. Not enough items is pretty much the same as too many items, but with a lot more features. I highly, 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 highly recommend it. And. Uh, We'll jump over to Minecraft and see what we get. All right, boys and girls, if we made it to the to the Minecraft screen, we've done everything right, and congratulations on getting here. What I've done is made a test world, a super flat t test world, just to make sure if we can get into Minecraft, we're good. If we can place items, we're good. Here is uh, not enough not enough items, and uh, da -da 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 -da. here is our build craft items our mining well, <clears throat> all our pumps. And a good thing about not enough items, I'm not sure if any uh, too many items still does this. In version 1.0 it would only show you the redstone engine and it wouldn't show you this damage value for the stone and the combustion engine so you'd only get the one and have to craft the rest but not enough items will show you all this stuff. So we got the new additions to it, our uh, blueprint library our lasers, assembly tables, uh, our path markers, those are new. We should have some more new items down here. This also brings up your uh, spawn eggs. Uh, there's our gates for our pipes. And there's the pipes themselves, the blueprints, and all that good stuff. So this this right here is all installed. This is an install for Minecraft 1.1 for Buildcraft 3.13. I appreciate you watching. Have a good day.